What's up guys, Derek, moreplacemoredates.com. Today we're gonna to be talking about my experience with aggressive microneedling of forehead wrinkles. So something that I've been trying to, or at least I haven't really done it properly yet, is like I tried, you know, self-improvement in a lot of aspects in terms of, um, you know, uh, style, you know, um, hair loss, uh, bodybuilding, all that kind of stuff, um, social freedom, um, killing anxiety, you know, doing public speaking kind of stuff, you know, putting exposure therapy for girls and whatnot. And a lot of it is, you know, tied into the whole like male self-improvement thing. But one thing I have neglected for quite a while is um, skincare, which is something that I'm going to be trying to focus on more, um, obviously because it is something that's important to me and I just have not allocated any time to it whatsoever and I should because you know it's gonna get to the point where it's gonna start accumulating and it's gonna be something that I'm gonna wish I did in the future if I don't start so like I've you know started certain things like we have a actually a pretty popular hyaluronic acid based um you know like serum that we sold through Gorilla Mind for a while and you know i'd use that off and on i wouldn't be super consistent with it and one of the things that has you know it's not something that bothers me a ton and i don't really think about it that much just because i've had it for so long but since i was like 16 or 17 like way before even taking any gear or anything i've had these two these really deep forehead wrinkles i don't know if it's just because i constantly go like this and i just like didn't realize it at the time or something but you know i thought maybe it might have been a result of bodybuilding and like heavy hormone use in my early earlier 20s but um no like when i look back at some of my oldest pictures like from high school they're still there and they're pretty prominent still i just you know never really paid attention to it until more recently i guess but one thing, you know, besides uh, like the skincare thing, you know, certain things like over the counter, I don't know how much they can make a difference. Like I've seen some of my business partners, like Chris, he um, he's, you know, managed to basically like shave off what appears to be like five plus years off of his facial age just by incorporating a pretty aggressive skincare routine with tons of hyaluronic acid, moisturizing. Um, one thing he does, he did recommend to me too that I've started to incorporate which is a lot easier to incorporate because it's a passive thing is you set up a humidifier in your office to just like keep if you have, especially if you have dry skin like me i took accutane when i was a teenager so i have brutally dry skin which is obviously going to be a problem down the line for aging quicker so i'm trying to you know i keep this humidifier on i'm going to be trying to focus on using um, our hyaluronic serum um, hyaluronic acid serum which you know down the line we're going to be um, segregating the brand from Gorilla Mind, like obviously having men's skincare with nootropics and pre-workout formulas and whatnot is like, the, the branding is so clashing that it makes no sense to have them together. So they're, it's being separated into a whole new brand, which will be launched down the line. But obviously it would be wise for me from not only, not just marketing, but a transparency aspect to, you know, I'm gonna be trying the stuff myself to at least be able to communicate to you guys like what you can even expect from it because that's the it's the thing i have less experience with and chris is kind of like the uh you know i guess the mastermind of those products because it's to be honest like i don't really experiment with them a whole lot so um i'm going to be transparent though when i say that as far as skincare goes i'm going to have this humidifier thing going i'm going to be trying to um fix my sleep patterns and my circadian rhythm and whatnot i feel like are the two biggest things and then one of the other things i'm going to be using you know the skincare product very consistently and whatnot and um you know as far as just a preventative measure i'm not expecting like massive results or anything but one thing i have been doing at least i tried it earlier last year this was actually a while ago now and i've kind of stopped because i didn't really um or I'll elaborate on exactly what happened is i started micro needling these spots pretty aggressively with a 1.5 millimeter needle, which is, or a micro needle. So if you've probably seen my hair loss content on micro needling and hair loss prevention, you probably, you know, see me talk about the, the Dermapen device I use on my scalp. And the thing is like an automatic, like almost, you know, medical grade machine that you would probably have somebody like you'd pay 
hundreds of dollars for one session of like PRP with something like this in a, you know, you go to your, I don't even know who does it, a dermatologist, probably not somebody like who has a, you know, a PRP clinic or something like that for um, anti-aging, anti-aging clinics and whatnot. Um, IV therapy, those kind of places offer this kind of service. They're called vampire facials and they like micro needle your face and like drip like PRP all over it. Um, but the micro needling process itself, a lot of people use it to get rid of, you know, stretch marks, to get rid of acne scars, to get rid of, you know, light wrinkles. But how much of a difference could it make on the really deep wrinkles on my forehead? Like, I don't really know, but I was, I figured I might as well try it. So perhaps I didn't give it a good enough shot to really see what it could do. But I did at least try it for half a year, which you're supposed to take pretty significant breaks between each session. So it's not that time consuming, to be honest. Like you only do it like once every few weeks or something before it heals up again, you can do another round. But you basically get in there and you go, you go pretty aggressive um, and just like needle it to the point where you're forcing, you know, new collagen production to try and like fill in that spot essentially through, you know, like micro damaging it. So, um, did it make a difference for me? I've seen some pretty substantial before and afters online, but for really deep wrinkles, I don't really know how effective it is. And, you know, just for somebody, if somebody's considering doing this, um, I'll tell you right now, like I didn't notice a difference personally, but I've only done it for, I only tried it for half a year and I kind of just gave up and I figured down the line, if I ever want to, maybe I'll like, I don't know, get uh, Botox or something. But for now, I don't really care that much. I'm just gonna, you know, try and, I haven't even tried an actual proper skincare routine to date. So I wanna at least try that and see how far I can get with that. Um, as well as optimizing my sleep. Cause I feel like regardless if my diet is on point or not, like I hit all my micronutrients, I hit, um, I'm pretty, you know, good about exercising and whatnot and staying in shape and having good biomarkers and whatnot. But as far as optimal sleep, that's something I often will neglect to kind of like pump out more content and work on business and stuff. And that is probably one of the biggest, you know, issues with poor skin quality is lack of good sleep. So that's something I'm really focusing on too. And, um, you know, down the line, I'll keep you guys updated. It's probably gonna be like a really infrequent, you know, video series as far as my skincare goes, cause it's not like one of my main priorities to be honest, but it's something that is something I want to push up the priority list a bit and I'll keep you guys posted. But as far as the micro needling thing, um, did it really work for me? I don't really think it made a difference. Um, I'd be interested to see if any of you guys have tried it though, if it made a difference for you, I don't know if you can like link before and afters using some like image hosting software. Like I think there's sites that you can host your images on for free. You could probably drop a link in the comments down below and help, you know, elucidate if there is any kind of efficacy to this in terms of like really deep wrinkles for guys who, you know, might want to pursue this. Yeah. I don't know if you have any experience with it, drop it in the comments down below. Let me know how it went for you. But for me, perhaps I just didn't give it a long enough time frame, but you know, up to now, nothing really substantial. So take from that what you will. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplatesmoredates.com. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's at moreplates underscore more dates. I'm also on Facebook, Snapchat, BitChute, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts, wherever I am, you can follow me there. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.